Last week, it was just Trey Ogden by decision that comes through for us at plus 165. Carl Holabaugh had a couple knockout opportunities that he couldn't capitalize on over Kanan Krushevsky, so we have to rip up that ticket. Uh, Bruno Silva does not end up club and subbing uh, Cody Durden, but rather just clubbing him and drumming him and getting that knockout finish there, so we have to rip up that ticket. And then the Algio by knockout plus 700 long shot. No luck there as Duho Troy starting to find his groove once again and pick up the first victory in nearly eight years in his career. So let's see if we can turn things around here, get back onto the winning ways uh, and profit for the card this weekend. All right, first uh, best prop bet up that I got for you guys here is going to be uh, a specific one. I don't usually like going this specific, but I feel pretty damn good about it. Where we have Sam Patterson round one submission at plus 180. I really expect him to go out there and get this fight into the clinch and grappling realms immediately, similar to what he did against Johan Langness back in January. And then from there, I think we're going to see a clear gap in defensive or grappling skills from the Patterson side, and that should allow him to sink in a re uh, rear naked choke or a guillotine within the first five minutes of this matchup, plus 180. A lot of action coming on it over the last couple of days, and for good reason. The second best prop that I'm going to give you to you guys is going to be Preston Parsons inside the distance at plus 230. I think he is a much more powerful striker, and I also think that his grappling will eventually allow him to grind out Oban Elliott over the course of the first two rounds, and that should cause Elliott to really slow down in the third, where we'll see Parsons really put the pressure on him and eventually get him out of there. You can hone in on that round two or round three prop if you want, but I'm just going to go as safe as possible here by taking him inside the distance and still getting plus 230. The third best prop bet that I got for you guys is going to be Tom Aspinall, round one KO at plus 145. There's been a ton of action, and I actually see one bookie actually have this line at plus 100 now, so clearly a lot of people on this spot. But if Aspinall is going to look the number that he uh, is at, like that minus 350 line, this is how he ends up doing it. Going out there, putting the pressure and power on Curtis Blades immediately, and that's how we normally see Blades end up fumbling the bag anyway. He strikes a little bit longer than he should, ends up getting touched, ends up getting put out, and I do think that Aspinall can come through with it once again here. Speed, power, athleticism, it's all on the Tom Aspinall side. The long shot that I have for you guys here is going to be Christian Leroy Duncan, round two knockout at plus 700. I think we're going to see a little bit of competitive uh, matchups uh, or, or exchanges between Duncan and Rodriguez in the first round. From there, he should start to open up in the second round, and I think that will eventually open up that knockout opportunity. I think Duncan is far too fast and far too explosive for Rodriguez, and we've seen lesser opponents put him out cold. I think that's the issue in Rodriguez's game. He's going to eventually look to take this fight to the ground and try to utilize his BJJ, but we've seen good enough takedown defense from Duncan to believe he should be able to keep this fight upright. Hopefully, this gets us to the second round, and then from there, Duncan should be able to unleash and get that knockout victory. There you guys go. Three best prop bets and a full week of content for you guys for UFC 304. I'll see you guys after the fights for my immediate reactions post. See you guys then. Peace.